and I am playing Poison Ivy in Nightwing. Yeah, I, I started off in theater. Um, I grew up in the Kootenays and it's all theater based. There wasn't a lot of film. We had a couple films come through when I was a kid and that was kind of where I developed my love for film acting. And I moved here in August and took a acting for film and television program at uh, Vancouver Acting School. And yeah, ever since then, it's kind of just been what I'm doing. Um, as a child, I don't know about that, but in high school, we did uh, Romeo and Juliet. Um, I'm from a very small town, so there's one high school, and then we have one other high school in the Valley, is what they call it. So we were the Capulets, and they were the Montagues, and that's how we, we did Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. We took it to the Summerlin Shakespeare Festival. It was very nice. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it was. Yeah, and it was, it was a big one to take on, too. I mean, it's Shakespeare, so it's a whole different language, essentially, a whole different element, and it was... I can't remember how old I was. I think... 50 maybe so yeah I had done a few Shakespearean plays before we'd went to the Summerland Shakespeare Festival every year since grade 8 or something so yeah I was kind of familiar with the language I had studied it quite a bit in school so it wasn't hard to get into it in that regard but definitely it was it was a challenge I don't know if it I think it started before that I think my grandma used to bring me um, Shirley Temple DVDs when I was a kid or actually they were VHS's the DVDs I don't know that was a long time ago back in the day um, and I loved Shirley Temple. She was, I mean, impartial to red hair, I guess. It was kind of a thing. Um, but I saw the Shirley Temple story on TV, and watching her as a child go from just a regular kid through all this acting and kind of becoming a star, it was an interesting story to watch, and I, I kind of think that's kind of where it all started. Uh, that's an interesting story. Um, Brady posted a video for the original trailer they shot in Calgary on the... It was a community film board in on Facebook, um, so I watched it and I was blown away. It was so good. So I messaged Brady on Facebook and I was like, "Hey, totally love the trailer. If you ever do auditions, like, let me know." Kind of thing, and he never replied. So I think it, it went into his junk folder, or he just had so much fan mail he couldn't get to it. Brady, but um, yeah. Anyways, a couple months later, I saw the auditions on the Vancouver Actors Guide. Submitted myself, auditioned with Brady and Kyle and got the role so yeah and then brady just he actually messaged me on facebook and never mentioned that me that message it was just like never happened hmm. Hmm. i i tried to i wanted the character to come from her origin essentially from the comic books i i've actually been a huge fan of poison ivy my entire life saw batman and robin when i was a kid and it's just this thing with people with red hair i'm like they're icons Cause it's like you know that could be me kind of thing but um i've always wanted to be poison ivy in any kind of regard and i've always wanted to be her i was actually her for halloween ironically enough and then a month later got the audition in the part but um yeah so i i kind of wanted her to come from a, a different place than has been portrayed kind of more she's a bit darker i think in our series than in any any other kind of representation that i've seen yeah and i really just wanted her to come from from her, her comic book origin if you will Absolutely, 100%. I was given full creative control with the character. I mean, Kyle obviously had his own image and tips and things that he wanted to see, but everything was kind of what I brought to the table. And I don't think that you, you necessarily would get that with a bigger production. It's kind of like there's a vision that they want to that they wanna reach and they have an audience they have, to, they have to satisfy as well as all the executives and the people above and everything. Yeah, so I think doing the fan film, we 100% we are in control of what we want to present to people. Yes and no. I mean, I felt the pressure to mostly the other fans of the series because they have their visions and that's what we are trying to create because it's a fan film, right? So we are doing it for the fans, not for anybody else. We're not trying to make money with it. So the only the only real goal we have is to satisfy these people's vision of these characters. I had one full day and I guess you could say two full days. Yeah. With the hair and makeup was a lot of time consuming, but it was so worth it. It was amazing. Oh God, they're so talented. Yeah. 
Definitely, yeah. It, once you're... The costumes for Poison Ivy are very sexy, very, you know, done up and voluptuous. So once you're in a costume like that, it's hard not to feel that way. So I definitely think that, that wearing the costume and having the the dark makeup and the crazy hair and the leaves everywhere, it, it's very helpful for getting to the character. Yeah, 100%. You know, I don't know. I, I don't have you know specific expectations with it I think where it's going right now is more than any of us had imagined it to be like we're premiering it at the Vancouver Fan Expo Easter weekend which is insane and really exciting yeah so I don't think that I don't think any of us really had the sky's the limit with it essentially yeah my name is Kylie Bush and I play Poison Ivy in the upcoming web series Nightwing Prodigal so make sure you check it out as soon as it's online <laughs>